Right, in this vlog, I'll be making a full carbon fibre roof, super light and super strong. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you've seen from the intro, I'll be doing a carbon fibre roof in this little vlog. Um, it's actually for a Fiesta Mark III, 4 or 5 model. Um, it's gonna be a very, very quick vlog. I'm not gonna be any. I'm not gonna do any talking over it. I'm just gonna literally just show you each stage of the process very quickly, and then the results at the end. Uh, but the steps I'll be doing is spraying the gel coat, laying up the carbon fiber stack with the core material, which will be Lantor Soric, then adding the flow media, putting the vacuum bag on, doing the infusion, breaking it out of the mold, trimming it up, um, quick polish, and that's it. The job should be done. So hope you enjoyed the video.
And right, that's it, it's all done. So yeah, I'm more than happy with what I was turned out. Got absolutely beautiful shine on it. The um, the weave is perfectly consistent. There's no breaks in the weave or waviness. It's perfect. And um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the finish I'm after. Uh, if you look at the video, you'll see that nothing else went into this uh, roof besides carbon fiber. The only other material I used was a Lantor Soric uh, core material, which is designed to be used in resin infusion. That's just create the gap to get the strength. But I don't use any broken carbon whatsoever. It's always a fresh roll, a full piece of fabric over each layer. And I hand it as well just to try and increase the strength. I mean, you could go more and do 45 degrees, but for this purpose, you do not need to. This is, you can stand on this, it's fine. But um, yeah, just trying to emphasize that these customers, uh, they're paying good money for carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is what you get. And the finish is show car, race car, it doesn't matter. It's, it's got to be worthy of the money. And it's got to look good and i'm more than happy with this but the proof's in the pudding i suppose so i think it's time to um to get it on the scale so i'm just going to put you down for a second and we'll uh i'll try and balance it on the scales Three point five five kilogram. So, uh, yep, yeah, I think that's uh, that's more than light enough for the you know fit for purpose. You could go light if you wanted, but I personally don't recommend that. I mean, this roof is consistently strong from the start, so from one end to the other. So, say you're racing on track, a bit of debris flies up or a stone or a rock, the driver or the people inside that car have got protection. If it's a drag car, even then, I'd still recommend having all of it covered. But yeah, stop waffling on now. I hope you've liked the content. Uh, I'm starting to get back into it now and try and do some more vlogging. So there'll be more videos coming real soon. But for those who subscribe, thank you very much. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.